All right, okay. Hey, I... Hey, you. How much do you get for overnight parking? 75 cents. Okay, we'll be back later. have your supper? Because I don't want it. There are only two or three cars out. I can carry on alone. It's all right. I hope to achieve a career as a professional ballroom dancer. Do you think that's silly? Go right ahead. It appeals to me. I guess I crave the spotlight. All I need is a proper partner. Some young lady who is talented and who would fall in with my ideas. The point is I wish to create a distinctive dancing style of my own. I'll bet you anything you like, I know exactly what's going on in your mind. Yeah? My height, right? Being short isn't as insuperable a handicap as you might think. If your personality is powerful, you can project the illusion of height. Also, they have specially fitted shoes. That's the doctor, Bartok, back from his country weekend. I'll take it. You will? Say thanks. You want to be very careful. What? That ball on your face. Did it get infected? I noticed you still have it taped. Must be weeks now. If neglected, an infection can be a serious thing. No, no, no. In the back. Sorry. And we'll do without any conversation either. What's your trouble, fella? Nothing. Motor's flooded. Want to push? No. Oh, let me give you a hand. It's all right. No, no, let me tell you, fella. I never pass up a man on the road that's in trouble. 
That's mean, selfish. I don't do that. Couldn't be like that if I tried. Wait. What's the matter with you, Marty? Can't you see he's a mechanic from a garage? He don't need no help from you. Oh, that's right. Oh, excuse me. Sure. I just wanted to help. Well, good night to you, fella. Good night. There must be something wrong, operator. I can't get an answer. Would you check the number for me? Huron, 83831. Dr. Bartok's not at home. I can't understand it. He's never late. The way these doctors push you around nowadays, I tell you, really. I'm not waiting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't blame you for worrying, Miss Hart. The hiker with him last night, he was four hours overdue getting back. Now, four hours, that's certainly suspicious. It certainly don't look kosher. Now, 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 don't get excited. I'll tell you what to do. We fired the guy, the hiker, on the spot, naturally. But we'll get hold of him, don't worry. But in the meantime, look, Miss Hahn, why don't you call the police, see? Yeah, if Dr. Bartok's missing, yeah, that's right, it's for the police. Just a minute, old boy. There. You people, for crying out loud, believe me, he's all right. The boy just delivered his car to him. Yes. Sure, the doctor's driving downtown now. He's probably over there right this minute. Good morning, Dr. Barthorpe. How are you? Morning, Dr. Barthorpe. Morning, Margie. You had me going for a minute. Mrs. Nama canceled out. She wouldn't wait. What happened to you, anyway? I was detained. What was the trouble, Victor? Nothing at all. Victor, the way you look. Yes. You're exhausted. You didn't get any sleep at all last night, did you? I was working, reading. Who's outside? Well, you know who you take at 11 o'clock, Mr. Davis. Oh, yes, Mr. Davis, the retired clothing manufacturer. Uh, give me five minutes, will you, and then send him in. Certainly. Oh, Dr. Bartok. I saw you down in the lobby. I just had to come up while I was still thinking of it. I'm... Uh, Dr. Swanger, remember, and the dentist down on the ground floor? Yes, Doctor. I've wanted to talk to you about this for quite some time now. Why don't you come in, Doctor? Oh, come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why, uh, the funniest thing happened, uh, about a month ago, I ran into a fellow who looked exactly like you. Hmm. You don't believe it, do you? Interesting. I don't mean it was just a resemblance. One of those things. This was you. A real double down to the last detail. Except, of course, he didn't have a scar on his cheek, naturally. Of course. <laughs> That's one thing about me. If I do say so myself, I am observant. I, uh, I take everything in. You want to know the reason why? Simple. It's my disposition. Now, I'm not all wrapped up in myself. Why, you take four out of five men and hold a gun to their heads and ask them the color of their wife's eyes, would they know it? Why, of course not. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm a dentist. You're the psychoanalyst. <laughs> it's silly. Yes. Not that you can blame them, of course. Why, well, the man in the street, he has his own worries and his petty little greeds and preoccupations, et cetera, et cetera. Why, they wouldn't notice it if the next fellow was breathing or dying. Now, isn't that a fact? Yes. All they can think about and talk about is themselves. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank goodness I'm not that way at all. I'm not egotistic. No. Well, I, um, I've got to run along my office, and, uh, and you're a pretty busy man yourself. <laughs> well, so long. <laughs> thank you very much, Doctor. 
Uh, for what? Oh, oh, it's nothing at all. <laughs> oh, doctor. Yes? I wanted to ask you, how is your wife? My wife? Yes. Oh, uh, oh, she's fine. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, she's fine. She's all right. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I had specifically told them there what I wanted for breakfast. And I made a fuss. I suppose that was small of me. Couldn't help that. I wanted things to go well. It was the first vacation I'd taken in years. But you know, I worked hard all my life. Never spared myself. Well, I don't want any credit for that. I was reading Thackeray. I prefer the classics, or books that have withstood the test of time. I must say, I have no patience with contemporary light reading. I, I asked my wife, uh, no, I think I, yes. What I did. And then they went out for a week, my daughters and my son. And there I was, left in the house all by myself. Was that fair, Doctor? Tell me honestly what you think. It isn't that I make demands. The last thing I want to be is a burden to them. I never asked them to wait on me hand and foot the way some mothers do. But after all, I've devoted my whole life to them. Surely the least they could do is to show me a little affection, a little consideration. I was just going to the phone. Is anything wrong? No, I'm fine. Well, aren't you coming? It's late. Uh, uh, darling, I... Uh... I can't understand it. You told Maxwell we'd be there by nine. You made a special point. But I'm on my way. Oh. Oh, wait. Uh... What? Where are you? Where do you think? Oh. Uh, no, that isn't what I mean, darling. Listen, uh, could you do something for me? Uh, could you meet me at the Wellington? The Hotel Wellington? Yes, in the arcade. Uh... I'll have to make a call there. It'll save time. Well, are you going to be very long? Uh, no, I'll meet you in half an hour. Oh, darling. Yes? Um, uh, I want you to stop in at the florist there and get yourself an orchid. An orchid? Yes, I want you to have it. Uh, tell them to charge it to my account. All right. I'll meet you at the Wellington. Good. And don't forget the orchid. What's going on? Weddings, weddings. Guess. Darling. You see? I got your orchid. Yes, I notice. They're probably wondering right now what happened to us. Better hurry. Uh, 
Yes, uh, wait. What is it, Victor? Uh, nothing. I was wondering, uh, do we really have to go to Maxwell's tonight? Do we? <laughs> you know those boys. If we don't show up, they'll think we're running on them or something. Yes, they would, wouldn't they? Uh, listen, uh, who's going to be there tonight? What do you mean who's going to be there? Usual crowd. Yes, of course. Oh, darling, uh, would you like to drive my car to Maxwell's? What? I thought you might enjoy it. Enjoy it? I'd love it. You know I've been wanting to drive that car for weeks. Well, all you had to do was say so. You're looking very well this evening, Victor. Am I? Mm-hmm. Very handsome. Thank you, dear. Shall we go? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Dr. Bartow. Good evening. Thank you. ladies and gentlemen. 23, red. What's the matter? Nothing. I, uh, I was just going to say I've been cashing a lot of bonds lately, haven't I? Hello, Doctor. Hello. You always take a chance on the gamble. Good evening, Dr. Bartas. Good evening. You're coming around to Maxwell's quite often these days. Two or three times a week, huh, Doc? I guess you're right. Take care now. Don't let them rob you. Good evening, Miss Taylor. Hello. Victor? Come along. Yeah. Three red. Same tonight, Dr. Bartok? The same, Frank. I'll put it on your account. It's Harry. I'm sorry, Harry. Hi, Virginia. Hello, Marjorie. Sit down, Virginia. Thank you. Make a play. Put them down. You know, it's very strange. I didn't think of it until just now. You didn't think of what, Mrs. Nevison? Your methods. I don't know what it was, but they weren't quite the same today, were they? We vary our procedures from time to time, Mrs. Nielsen. We like to see what results we get. Well, I must say that things went much smoother today, though, didn't they? Yes, I think so, Mrs. Nielsen. Thank you. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Mrs. Nielsen. I tell them to send up a tray around 7. You're really putting in long hours, aren't you? Yes. I guess I'll run along. Good night. Evelyn. Yes? Come here. What is it? Look at me. What? You've been watching me all day, haven't you? Have I? Is there anything peculiar about me? No, of course not. Then why do you watch me? What are you worried about? I don't know. Something troubling you? No. Yes. Well, tell me. You've been so strange. Really? You've been avoiding me. Do you blame me? What do you mean? What do you think I am, Evelyn? Don't I know? Know what? You've been seeing somebody. Oh, come now. All right, I don't mind. I was just curious. Well, isn't it true? No, it's not. Are you sure? I'm sure. Then, uh, why do you turn away? Does this embarrass you? I don't know what you want. It's late. What do you do? Give you a bad time? I don't want to stay here and quarrel. I don't feel like it. What happened? Did he hurt you? Do I look hurt? I should say you do. Well, don't fool yourself. You don't get hurt these days. No? No, it's very simple. You never expect anything, so you're never disappointed. You're a bitter little lady. It's a bitter little world, full of sad surprises, and you don't go around letting people hurt you. I'll tell you something. In all my life, I think I've only had one beau I was really willing to trust. Should have held on to him, married him. I wanted to, but I couldn't. He was 12 years old, and I was nine. Uh, 
Are you sorry for yourself? No. Because for one thing, it's too late, and what's the use? Because you never can go back and start again. Because the older you grow, the worse everything turns out. You don't see it happening to you, it just happens. You wake up one morning, and there you are, and anything goes, and that's all right, too. Now, does that upset you, Dr. Bartok? It doesn't bother me at all. Anytime you say, I can quit. I would never let you go, Evelyn. That's nice. Thanks. I would miss you badly. You don't know how much I would miss you. You're not in business to worry about people or their whereabouts. He couldn't afford it. Maybe he knew people here, had friends. If I could talk to them, I've got to find them. I don't know of any other place I can start from. Bartlett, Anderson. You know anything about a man named Muller? John Muller? Guy we fired a couple of months ago thereabouts? Hmm? Mm-hmm. No, he doesn't know anything about... What? Oh, just a minute. Reference. Okay. All right, Bartlett. Thanks. You might try this place, the garage. Clover Garage. You'll have a long wait. The patient just went in. That's all right. I'm afraid we never noticed the different hikers. To tell the truth, I don't know what made you think of coming here. Well, they told me at the garage the last call he went on was with Dr. Bartog. I suppose it was. <laughs> he was gone for four hours that night. I heard about it. They fired him. Yes. Something may have happened. I don't know. It just might be the doctor remembers him. You see, my brother was interested in psychoanalysis. Went to medical school. Dr. Bartog might be able to give me some kind of lead. Nothing else to go on. Why don't you wait? Sit down. Thank you. 